the question. Do you put your head on this side of the bed or do you put your head on that side? the way we sleep is a very commonly asked question, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. So it's something that we've seen on a poll many times on the Hiker Facebook page saying, which way do people sleep? With their head towards the door end or their head towards the galley? So and let's go talk about the pros and cons. Yeah. Here are the pros and cons. If you're gonna sleep with your head on that side, here's how you get in. You get in and you can swing your feet around like that. Now, and then get out and slide out. Now, if your head is on this end, you've got to crawl in, you got to pull your knees in, and then you can go like this. One of the things, because I'm kind of a neat freak, or clean freak, I don't like having my dirty feet right next to my pillow when I come in. Personal preference. But that's one of the things I think about. The other way, I just feel like you're having to pull your knees way in to get yourself in and out. Pros for having your head on this end. A couple things. One, when they designed the hiker trailer, they made it that all your charging ports are right up here, and then you could put your phone and whatever you need to charge right up here above your head. So easy access. You would have vents. If you had the air conditioning vent, it would be kind of coming over your head. The air comes through the window and gets pulled up to the vent, whether you have the max fan or the fantastic fan. So good ventilation without it causing too much distraction or interruption to your night of sleep. Um, another pro for this, having your head on this end, is for someone that's tall. Granted, Matt and I are 5'6 and 5'8, so this isn't an issue for us. But for someone that's taller, if they have their head on this end, if you have the far end open and the galley at the galley end, your feet could go underneath your galley shelf and you could have a little extra length for your feet to sleep at nighttime without feeling like it's hitting the wall. Con, you can't put this shelf in, which we have found this shelf to be extremely useful. As you can tell, it's kind of filled up with a few things over the weekend and this is even after us cleaning it up a little bit. Con number two, for me, it's the getting in and out, feeling like you've got to really cramp up your knees to be able to get in and out of the trailer. All right, so now, having your head on this end, this, as you can see, is how we've decided to do it for a couple reasons. One, I feel it's easier to get in and out of the trailer, and all the dirt isn't by my pillow when I'm going to sleep. A pro and a con, kind of depends on how you feel about this, is having the window right here behind me. When you're laying down, and the way that these windows are put in, the air comes through this part of the window. So when you're laying here, the breeze kind of comes over you as it goes up to the fan. So if it's a hot, kind of sticky night, it's nice to have that breeze coming over you and cooling you off. If it's a cool night, that can be a con because now you have this cold breeze coming over you and you end up getting a cold shoulder. Um, that's part of the reason that we wanted to come up with another alternative to the venting system and therefore we did the vent covers on the front. If it's a night that it's raining, on my side, thankfully, I've got the 270 awning, so I'm protected. The other side, we don't have an awning, so Matt feels like he has to close the window, so if we get a sideways rain, he's not getting any rain in on his side. Yeah, it's crazy. You'll actually hear suction when you have your max fan on and you close your windows. You'll actually hear the fan kind of change sound or change pitch because it's trying like crazy to pull air and these things are pretty airtight. But you don't want bugs to be able to get up in there. So our son designed a cover that's got bug netting in the inside of it so bugs can't get in. And it slides right on there. And you're good to go. It just twists on. So the reason for the plastic 90s is to prevent rain from coming in. You could also snap these covers on directly to the hiker if you know you're going to have a dry night. All right, so with this vent cover, 
We weren't sure how many people would actually be interested in something like this. So we will have in the description below a survey to see if people are interested. Um, there's two different types of L brackets that we have seen out there. One is the Volterra, like this one, um, and then which is just a solid 90 degree elbow. And then there's a different one, a Camco version that um, can swivel. That one, the dimensions of this outer part is just slightly bigger than the Volterra. Um, this cover, we did test it on there. It fits, but it's definitely snugger than what this one is. Um, and when our son made these, it's tight right there to start with, but once you put it on a couple times, it kind of fits, finds the right fitness for your little nubs, um, and then it fits nicely and can go on and off really easily. All right, so with these on, we were curious if it would interfere with us opening the toolbox cover. Yeah, as you can see, open it up again. Just taps it, but it's plastic on metal. Don't think that's going to be a hindrance. It's not going to hurt the toolbox one bit. It's not going to hinder you from uh, making entry into the toolbox area. You really want that fresh air to prevent condensation. You got these nights where are warm days and cool nights, and you, you're asking for condensation if you don't run that fan and uh, have a little bit of air draw coming through. Even if that max fan is on so low, you can't even hear it. All right, so another pro for having our heads on this end of the bed is that we can use our galley shelf as our nightstand. We can charge our phones here, our watches, have that easily accessible, which Matt loves to have his phone nearby. So if there's any storms or wind, he can be meteorologist Matt in the middle of the night quickly pull up his phone, see what the weather's looking like, seeing if we're in any danger with any storms. Hey, thanks a lot. Well, you know that's truly what you do. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> we can put a heater on here, a fan, have a glass of water, a bottle of water, something like that that's nearby. So this is a great nightstand. So here is storm mode. Everybody says, do you fold up your Millard trifold mattress? No, we don't. Mm -hmm. We leave the mattress flat all the time. The trifold is beneficial for putting the sheets on, getting the, the mattress in and out of the trailer. But as far as putting it into couch mode, we never have and we don't really anticipate doing that. No. The times I have heard of people doing that is if they want to transport some stuff inside of the cabin area, that they'll put it in couch mode for travel um, so that they have some floor space to transport some items. Yeah. If we're just hanging out like this, we got our backs to the wall, we got pillows propping us up. We got our iPad right across the way so we can see our entertainment. We can read a book, read our iPads, do whatever we want. Just chill out, hang out if we need to. We like this way, works the best for us. Mm -hmm. To each their own, you're gonna have to figure out what works best for you. There really is no right or wrong answer. It's totally what you feel works best for you. So for a taller person, the other way may probably be the best way so that your feet can have a little extra space to stretch out. Mm -hmm. um, but we found in our situation that this is what works best for us. Having that extra shelf is probably one of the biggest benefits. Yeah. Um, and we really like using the galley shelf as our nightstand. Yes, absolutely love the galley shelf. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we would do without that shelf being there. It's just absolutely perfect. The galley shelf is there. Oh, there, that that's the extra shelf. Oh, I thought you were talking the extra shelf. Got lots more adventures planned for this summer, guys, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button. Let us know down in the comments, which way do you guys sleep and why did you choose that way? Yep. Do you choose to fold up your mattress? I'd be curious to know how many people fold it into couch mode or keep it flat. I think the majority are going to keep it flat. Put that down in the comments. We'll get a little discussion going on what's going on in what way you prefer. Yep. Anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it. So remember, get out. Make sure you get out. And do, do a some little camping. camping. We'll talk to you later, guys. Have a good day.